The world is on pace for the warmest year on record. Breaking marks set in 2015, 2014 and 2010. But scientists say it's more than temperatures. They have connected man-made climate change to deadly heat waves, droughts and devastating floods. Scientists also say a warmer planet means more severe storms like the recent hurricane Hermine. When Hermine barreled into the Gulf Coast, it took everyone by surprise. A Cat 1 hurricane with dangerous surf, high winds, and torrential rain pounding the west coast of Florida for days. Streets were flooded, homes were damaged before Hermine moved up the coast. While meteorologists tracked Hermine's every move, scientists were looking at the storm for another reason, global warming. The street is completely underwater. They point to rising sea levels and warmer ocean waters as key factors in creating more devastating hurricanes. Scientist Glenn Gorkowitz has been tracking these storms for decades. Climate change has been particularly important in the northeastern United States because it's the area where the continental shelf is warming faster than, than anywhere else. Gorkowitz has been studying the sea's impact on storms like Hermine in real time at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. One of the interesting things about Hermine is the fact that the waters were several degrees warmer than usual. And so when Hermine came off of land, it actually got a little bit stronger there. And so the recent trend of warming in the Northeast Continental Shelf definitely affected the storm. And that's not good news. No, that's not good news. The scientist is part of a team that collects data from ocean robots with sensors, known as gliders, that can transmit critical information. We can put the gliders out in conditions that we, we couldn't ever possibly think of for ships manned by people. This glider was submerged in the waters off the coast of Cape Cod just days before Hermine hit. So the glider has been out for four days now. It Robert Todd is responsible for guiding the gliders. Technology allows him to do so with a smartphone. As long as I have an internet connection, I can communicate with the glider when it's on the surface, give it a new heading, or tell it to stay underwater for a different amount of time. What's the hope? The hope in the long run is to really develop an integrated system so that eventually we can forecast storms much more accurately. It may take months to fully analyze the Hermine data, but there have already been some surprises. For example, the storm drifted farther west than originally predicted, and the new data may help explain why.